Secta Sinistra, aka Bloody Sect. This was the final movie to watch from the September Vinegar Syndrome Bundle. And it's pretty much, as the saying says, save the best for last. Wow, this flick was fucking badass. Uh, kind of like a Rosemary's Baby almost. Um, basically, Buddy cheats on his wife, hooks up with the mistress, wife dies, um, he wants to have a kid with the mistress, uh, he can't knock her up, they go through this thing, and lo and behold, she's inseminated by a seminist cult or some shit like that. I I was blown away it was late last night when I watched it and when I saw that there were subtitles I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to be able to focus that late at night but I'm glad I stuck through with it because this shit was fucking wild the actresses um Emma Queer, who played Helen, uh, the mistress. <clears throat> uh, Deanna Conca, who played Elizabeth. Fucking amazing. And she is not shy on camera at all. And the winner of the whole fucking movie, Concha Valero, uh, credited as Josephine Varney. She played Margaret, and she's like the hired caretaker for the pregnant Helen. Uh, she also works for the Satanist's cult thing, whatever you want to call them, and she was really unnerving. I'm normally not creeped out by characters in a movie but Jesus fuck Margaret was terrifying she kind of reminded me of the uh, the old Simpsons episode where Marge and Homer want to go out and they're desperate for a babysitter and they hire this random woman who, uh, who like ties the kids up and robs houses blind and she ends well obviously she ends up getting foiled by Bart and Lisa because that's what they do but this Margaret character reminded me so much of that Simpsons episode um, she was just amazing she she ate up every scene that she was in uh, they don't shy away from the the violence against kids either Jesus fuck there's a little kid um, named Peter in the movie uh, played by Oscar Daniel uh, sorry I just got the cast list there so I can mention their names uh, yeah little Peter he was he was a fun kid I'm normally I normally don't like kids in movies and that but sometimes they're necessary and this was one of those necessary times that little shithead was fucking great um, Satanista Hefe, played by Henry Ragood. This dude with the creepy stare. He is. He was rather fun too. He was good on camera, but they all pale in comparison to Margaret. Get this movie just to watch her performance. It's just. Amazing, one of the best performances I've seen. I fucking loved it. Uh, this is a 1982 flick, and it's 86 minutes. Uh, that again, that includes the credit time, so it's roughly like 82 to 84 minutes long. Um, 
the the transfer beautiful as always from vinegar syndrome uh, what the fuck was i going to talk about i don't fucking remember uh, so if I'm reading this right, uh, Ignacio F. Equino, the filmmaker, was 72 years old when this was made. Oh, fuck it, you can't fucking see that anyways. Uh, yeah. It's a 2K scan from the original 35 mil camera negative. Um, fair bit of sleaze. Uh, that Elizabeth character. She's something else. She really wants that dude's dick. Not a spoiler. Um, but yeah, seriously. This is one of the best cult or Satanist movies I've seen in a long, long, long time. I am super happy I picked this up. Again, total blind buy. Didn't even read the back of the box until just before filming this. Um, get it. Jump on over to Vinegar Syndrome or Diabolic and order this shit ASAP. It's a wild ride. Even if you don't like subtitles, give this movie a chance. It may change your mind. You're missing out on a killer flick if you let subtitles determine if you're going to watch a movie or not. Pick it up. Uh, I Between that and Pledge Night, they are the two best out of the bundle. Followed by The Vineyard and then... That other one, Beyond Evil, in a distant fourth compared to these three. Um, uh, there's one part as well, I'm not going to say what happens, but the effects are rather cheap looking in the one scene, but it still looks a hundred times better than the fucking bullshit CG they'd put in a movie nowadays for that scene. Um, the other thing, the blood... It's really bright red, but again, it's what, fucking 1981, 1982, 82, so I forgive them for the extra fake blood. Um, but yeah, with that being said, practical effects and blood, fuck CG, pick this movie up and stay fucking sleazy. Peace.